Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm in Birmingham. We're gonna try Fargo's, but we're here at 12-ish 12 12 o'clock. So we're doing the lunchtime menu, which is actually franked. So I think they've got like a Japanese-y, Pan-Asian type thing. We'll go in and I'll show you what I mean. So we're not gonna, we're going in Fargo's, but we're not having the regular food. You'll see what I mean when I go inside. Right, let's do it then. Let's go inside. I'll show you what I mean about the menu. Okay, so sat down, good amount of seating in here actually. I've been here in the evening many, many, many years ago, super busy, but I've come at lunchtime, so it's a bit quieter, so good to film. But let me show you guys what I mean about the menu. So for example, they've got like a, I think it's like a Pan-Asian thing. So we've got like a Korean dish here. We've got like a, a katsu, which is obviously a Japanese dish. We've got dishes from all over the place. Ooh, we've got some tacos actually. So I think what we could do is get a few little bits and bobs from here. Yeah, so I am excited actually. I thought I was coming for burgers, but this is better. And then we're gonna go to, I think, Khan's Fish Bar. That feels like a bit of a local legendary place. People have literally just stopped me out in the street, told me to go there. So yeah, that's next. We're gonna start with one of the best samosas I've ever had. I had these in, I think my second ever YouTube video. Wow. We're gonna start, yeah, wow. That's right guys, these are that good. If my memory serves me correct, these are next level. So we're gonna try these now. Oh, chili cheese samosas. Simple, but delicious. Time for the mains. This is a bit interesting. So it's a katsu, which you've probably all seen before, but it's actually got the Nagatron sauce in it. So like a spicy katsu. And then my sister's actually got a regular. So I might do a little side by side. I don't know. Um, this is like a bibimbap bowl. It's a Korean thing with a firecracker sauce, chicken bite. And then my cousin who you saw earlier, he's got a regular uh, katsu as well. I think first thing I'm gonna do is go for the Nagatron or the Naga, Nagatsu. That's it, the Nagatsu. So I'm gonna just get the chicken. So a katsu would have sort of breaded chicken. Uh, it normally has a katsu sauce on the side. This is a katsu curry uh, with some rice. So let's give this a go. Oh, katsu coming through. The spicy sauce coming through. That's pretty nice. I do quite enjoy that. The rice is pretty decent as well. I think this bowl is $8.95. Um, it's quite a big portion to be fair as well. So I think that's pretty good. I think so far my favorite thing is the chili cheese samosas. They were unreal. But as far as katsu goes, and this is a little bit different to a regular one, of course, I think that's pretty tasty. But then I thought, you know what, yeah? Let's actually compare to the uh, regular one. Why not? I do think I prefer the traditional one. I think if the rice could be a little bit clumpier, a little bit sort of like stodgy and stickier, that'd make it really good. Maybe, I know a lot of places don't do this, it's not traditional, but I like when katsu has like little bits of like soft carrot and stuff in it. That's not always super common, but with that, with this, I think will be lovely. My sister, if you can hear it, a little bit of potato. I think that'd be really nice actually. It just give the whole plate a little bit more depth and texture, I think. Guys, everyone's confused. This is a uh, ginger, it's not sad. But... It's just ginger. It, to be fair, it does. It looks kind of funny. Uh, but it's just what it looks like. So this is the... Uh, no, no, no. No biggie, my brother. No biggie. This is the uh, bibimbap bowl with the chicken bites. And you can pick the sauce. We picked firecracker. And then, ooh, they gave chips. I thought they'd be like regular ones, but these are like chippy chips. Whenever I see chippy chips, I'm like, come on. That's pretty good because a lot of takeaways, they just give you like, you know, regular chips from a bag. They fry them. This is like a little bit of care. A little bit of attention to proper hand cut ones. That's nice, but let's try this firecracker uh, first. <laughs> Give this a go, guys, yeah? Let's try this. This is the firecracker sauce. I think it's one of their more popular sauces. How's your food, Hader? Look at the camera, Hader. Look there. You don't know. How's your food? Very nice, very nice. See, this is why, guys, yeah? You know in the yesterday's video, you saw the chap uh, my uncle, I said it's my uncle, and he had a samosa in a roll, and I said, this is why, I'm, I'm the, with the review jeans, right? This is his son. You see where he gets it from, right? <laughs> Gus, man, no. Yeah. Uh, off camera, chatted for hours. How, how is it? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think the bites are probably my favorite thing, actually. The firecracker sauce is lovely. A little bit of sesame on top, which is a nice little touch, and good chunks of chicken breast as well. And I have to try these. I have to, right? Let's give them a go. And I've got to dip them in the old katsu sauce as well. The uh, chef has suggested we try the dynamite chicken bites, which I certainly will. I'm with a whole table of people, so that'll be nice for us to sort of just try. But let's do the chip first. Do you know what, yeah? I love chippy chips, man. I love chippy chips. With the katsu sauce, I think that's delicious. Obviously, it's just a side, but a good one. I'm hoping to get some good chippy chips from uh, Khan's Fish Bar a few doors down after this, but 
a nice addition to the meal. Guys, sorry to interject. I just want to quickly say I did not go to Khan's Fish Bar. I did not make it there. I know it's only a few doors down, but it was like super wet. They have no seating in Khan's Fish Bar. And there was a load of us, we were in a car, so I couldn't like get the food and take it back somewhere. So I didn't have any way to see it. And I had to do it outside and it was like super wet. It was raining really badly that day. So I could not do it. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't go to Khan's Fish Bar, but I will try and go down to Birmingham very soon. I've heard really, really good stuff. And whilst I've got you here, if you're liking this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got a ton more videos coming out. And if you want to see more from Birmingham or other areas, hit subscribe because I've got a few different areas on the channel. Manchester, London, Bradford, Birmingham, Oldham, and I'm expanding. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Road to 50k, guys. Anyway, let's go back in time to the video. So these are the bites I've just put on the table. I wasn't uh, expecting these, but we'll give them a go. So apparently they're hot. Let's try these dynamite chicken bites. I think they might be the same as the firecracker bites, but with dynamite sauce rather than chicken. Ooh, the spice there. There's a bit of cream going on, so it's actually not as spicy as I thought it would be. Tasty. Again, nice side. That was a quick casual review for Franked in Birmingham. I do have another review coming, so if you want to see that, hit the notification bell so when it comes up, you guys are notified. Also subscribe so when I do release, it comes into your subscription feed. But that takes me all the way to the end of my video. If you want to see another Birmingham video, just click this Birmingham playlist right here. And over here, you will see a video you haven't quite yet seen. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in that next video. Say goodbye, Hader. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba.